Hey guys, Flay here. Today I want to talk about my final thoughts on the Samurai changes in N Walker. Samurai itself has not had many changes at its core. It pretty much plays at how it used to be in Shadowbringers with some minor changes and additions. I made a video talking about all the changes we had in N Walker, so if you want a detailed explanation on the changes, be sure to check that out. I will be leaving a link in the description below. With the addition of our buffs being given to us upon using our finishers Gekko, Kasha, Oka and Mangetsu, Samurai's issue of being slow on raids or dungeons has now been fixed. We now have access to quick bursting due to this since we can instantly gain our buffs and burst with our suns being ready in just 2-3 GCDs compared to Shadowbringers where we had to slowly build our buffs on our single target GCD combos whether it be for raid or dungeons. Ogi Namikiri and Kaishi Namikiri, which are our biggest hitting skills, make Samurai even more satisfying to play, as it is not only good for single target but also melts monsters in dungeons. When this is combined with Tenka Goken being built up much faster than it used to be in Shadowbringers, Samurai is extremely satisfying to play in dungeons. With Seigan Gone, you do not really feel the impact of Third Eye as much as it used to be in Shadowbringers. However, regardless of this, Third Eye is a bigger DPS increase than it used to be and should still be used. Samurai used to not be great in fights that had downtime during Shadowbringers, and it made it much slower to burst as we had to rebuild our buffs and had to know several different openers in order to play optimally and suppose other melee jobs on it. With the addition of two charges to Meikyo and Tsubame, including the buffs being refreshed much easier, this problem has now been fixed. Samurai can now quickly burst again after downtime, making its synergy with raid buffs slightly easier to handle. Now how does Samurai compare to other jobs? First off, I would like to mention, due to the lack of data from FFLogs not being updated yet, the following things I'm about to say will be purely based on what I have experienced so far in the job of doing multiple testings on the current content available. Some things may end up being wrong after optimal data is presented once FFLogs is fixed. Currently, I'm finding that Samurai is pretty broken and is ahead of the other DPS jobs available in the game on single target bosses. Even when played suboptimally, Samurai is currently dealing so much more damage than other jobs that I have a feeling that other jobs will have slight buffs in the near future. When our rotation is fully spreadsheeted and map perfide, this brings even more damage as we are able to synchronize our bursts with raid buffs. Our damage just skyrockets by at least 500 more DPS than what it currently is doing. Even with non-maxed out gear, the damage dealt on an ad hoc rotation can be seen significantly. Now what about the skill ceiling and flow of the job? Currently the skill flow for Samurai is pretty much the same as it used to be in Shadowbringers. Samurai is pretty easy to pick up amongst all melees. But for the skill ceiling, I have a feeling that has been raised a little bit more. This is due to us having to spreadsheet every GCDs in order to play optimally, whereby in Shadowbringers, even just looping would bring us standout high damage. This is due to our rotation becoming extremely off with two charges of Meikyo and Tsubamegeshi and being able to burst so early. We can technically make a loop still and hit more straight buffs, but this is currently not the most optimal thing to do, as we may end up overcapping on our Meikyo and Tsubame charges by doing so in case the fight has downtime. Should you pick up the Samurai in N Walker? Yes, definitely. There is no doubt that the Samurai is still going to be extremely potent on N Walker whether other jobs get buffed or not. The job feels extremely satisfying to play and is a lot more active than it used to be on Shadowbringers. This will be the end of the video, thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I'll see you guys later on.